Hello everyone, my name is Finmer, and this is Star Sector, the Freighter Prince. Freighter Prince? The Freighter Prince is a type of freighter character. He uses nothing but freighters, and says such, he probably has lots to trade, but I would not worry about it. We, if you have coin, Freighter Prince has supplies. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright, so, as our name says, we are the Freighter Prince, and we are going to be using predominantly freighters insofar as we can. So, let's go... Oh yeah, I forgot to turn off that <laughs> again. So, as I said, we will predominantly be using freighters. So, let's see what we have. We can't afford any buffaloes right now, even though they can hold a lot of... They can hold a lot of stuff. <clears throat> what can we afford to buy? Well, as it turns out, not much. We can afford a nebula, which would be great for us. It's just big enough for our purposes. So, but we want to try and... So, so there are some rules for the Freyta Prienz. The first one is we can only use freighters as combat vessels. We cannot use anything else. We can have uh, drams and fuel tankers. However, we cannot use any ships aside from transports, specifically civilian transports, tankers, and freighters. You know, combat freighters are fine as well. So. For our purposes, something like a mule is actually good, even though it's a really bad ship. As is the Gemini, because it's a built-in carrier. But there are things that are even better for our purposes. But as the Freyda Prince, we are going to be making lots of enemies, most likely. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first thing we need as the Freyda Prince is money. The easiest way to get money is supplies to Calcedon. Because we don't use a lot of supplies, but we will use a lot of fuel. So, that means we ultimately want to just start ferrying supplies back and forth from Chalcedon. And getting heavy, heavy armaments and shipping that out as well. When it fits us. So, let's go ahead and look at the armaments that are here and let's look at our fleet. Because the weapons that are on these are usually pretty bad at the very start. So let's look at what we can just do real quick to make these more viable fighters. To make these viable ships to where they can actually do something. So if we go with here, because we're not allowed to use this ship because it's not a freighter. So if we go over here, we have that assault gun and the dual light auto cannon. Let's see. Their damage per second is about neck and neck. Over here we have a light machine gun and we have an ion cannon to try and flux out the enemy. The only problem with this thing is that it's kind of one of those if you want to use both of these you have to lean to the side or lean to the side here to bring both of these to bear. So I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do here. Ooh, we have anti matter blasters, huh? Okay, and over here we can have we have universals. So what we're most likely going to do is if we can we want to put something if we can we might put salamanders back here, the machine guns over here. And up here have our, our main weapons that we're gonna do damage with. But we have that assault gun as anti-armor, anti-shield. This is an assault gun, so yeah, we're gonna have to, to figure out what we want to do here. We do want to just off the bat get a cheap freighter that we're allowed to use for our, our other officer. So looking at what is available and what we are allowed to use, I suppose that will make, that'll be a hound. So we're going to buy a hound for our other officer. 
then we're going to come back here and we're going to reassign him or her and sell this. We're going to strip it first. Wish there was a strip command there. And then we're going to say, okay, this will scuttle for about, you know, 850 and it will sell for, let's see, seven fuel is about oh, 70 and that is way more than that. So we're going to sell this off and we're going to try and outfit this with weapons that we are allowed to use in this playthrough. Hmm. If we go with a heavy mortar, it can do something at least. We won't be able to get through enemy shields. Okay, so let's go ahead and just go with... And I'm figuring an arbalist. Maybe... Maybe a heavy mortar. So it's explosive versus this. Hmm. I'm not really sure. Hmm. As far as two of one, so we'll, we'll go with that. And over here we'll put a light machine gun on there. Now, this doesn't have any shields, so... Do they have an improvised shield array or something like that? Not there. And no, not there. Instead, in energy away and stabilized shields, but not improvised. Okay. Well, we can't buy anything else here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go back here and with. No, okay. We're going to go back here and we're going to max out what it can do. I suppose we can do safety overrides to try and make it as dangerous as possible. Well actually we, well we will need probably a speed and something else. Let's go to safety overrides for now. And yeah, we do need to go back and readjust these. The nice part is he can just fire indefinitely. We don't have to worry about that because his, his flux dissipation is more over here. Yeah, we would need something like a machine gun or dual light machine gun. So we're going to replace these with dual lights. And back here, we would eventually put some sort of missiles back here that we want to use. We have one salamander, so we'll slap that back there. And nothing else that we really want. So, I suppose we could do a Sabbath. But, hmm. You can hear I'm gonna put two salamanders back there just to try and lock them down. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. The other, the other part of this is I have to pilot one ship, and the only order I'm allowed to give is full assault. <laughs> so there is that. Okay, let's go ahead and move along. So what can we do right now? So these sell pretty well at Chalcedon, but Chalcedon is dangerous to go to. Yeah. Chalcedon is dangerous to go to. But they are the most profitable for us to go to. So we don't need 35 crew. Well, we don't need this many crew, so we're going to sell them even if it is below market value because we can hire a bunch of marines. Now, that's at cost. We know that Chalcedon wants fuel, so that's not a big deal to us. I suppose the other thing we can do is put the missiles on there, the swarmers. So we'll do that for now. 
I'll just have everything shot of fire because that'd be bad decisions. Okay, so we do that. We've gotten rid of those. We can buy a few more supplies. And let's go ahead and go to Calcedon and sell stuff. So we're back here. Let's go to Calcedon and make our way. Swap those around and make our way to Calcedon. Oh no, the detachment is pursuing us. So, we use four fuel a day right now. So we'd be able to survive about 40, no, less than 40 days. Maybe like 30 or so. Okay, so let's run dark. Let's slip in and try to sneak our way over to Calcedon. Don't want any fights right now, because fights mean we're probably gonna die. So this use their sensor range. Okay, so they don't seem to care enough about us to do anything. And someone is coming after us, so we're going to sell as much as we can. And then we are going to book it. So we've increased the amount of money we have. Makeshift shield generator. Uh, we'll take it and apply it to our ships. And over here, nothing that we really care about all that much. What about in their open market? Any weapons that we care about? Not really. Okay, but we do know that they sell, uh, or actually pretty cheaply. And Bletic Church needs that right now. So let's go ahead and buy a bunch of this so we can sell it for about you know, triple at the Ludic Church. And we want people. We know that people sell pretty well at the Ludic Church as well. And the last thing we need is fuel, which we're not going to buy from them. So, we can try and make our way out of here. They would have caught us there after us. And we want to make our way to... Not Epiphany. We're going to make our way to Cannon. To Canaan, I think. Yeah. Let's see. Who wanted this? Asher. And who? Oh, we have three supplies. I thought we had like thirteen left. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, so Hephaestus and Eos Exodus. They want. So we'll go here. Asher, and then we will make our way to Festus Exodus. No, go. So we'll we'll leave now with the money that we've got, and we will try to. They are hostile, right? Yeah, they are. They're just not taking flights with us for some reason. So, yeah, we'll turn the transponder on because Poetic Church is currently very scary. <laughs> and we do not want to mess with them. Oddly enough, we can uh, sell this and then promptly buy all the supplies. And, I mean, the fuel is, the fuel is more than we would normally pay for it. So we're going to try and get away with not buying that. They won't buy this for, well, nobody will buy this for even half right now, so. And we're gonna go over here to refit. And when this guy does not have any kind of shield generator. So, makeshift shield generators, how much do they cost? Five. 
Okay. So if we get rid of that, we are below five. So we're going to put this on there and then give him one. Okay, so now he has a shield that he can use. Um, it's not a great shield, but hey, you know, it does, the, it does its job. And then that will hopefully aid the ship in not being killed. Okay, so, out of curiosity, what is the normal max speed of this? Normal max speed is 8, because we just added 2 from the uh, override. So this one, its max speed is t 10 normal. So let's refit this and see what we can get on there. So you, can we get any salamanders? No salamanders. And uh, it doesn't look like there's any amazing weapons in there so we are going to leave this as is and we're over target capacity what are you talking about we bought literally as much as we needed so now we're at target capacity so let's now make our way to oh wait how many marines do we have Oh, that's right, we have lots of crew to sell. So let's make our way to Hephaestus. And hopefully we can buy marines for cheap there. Well, we'll see. So, Hephaestus and Eox. And let's go, boys. Let's get out of here. Okay. Okay, so we have the terrorists coming after us. That's always amazing. So, we make our way to Hephaestus and head over here, hopefully, to sell something. Huh. Is there just, like, something there? We don't have the people or the salvage, so we'll, we'll leave it for now. But let's go over here to best us and sell some crew. So we need, we only need 35 people. So we're going to sell down to 40 for a nominal profit. Here gas is slightly below standard. What about Marines? Marines? Yeah, we pass it on to pay more for Marines. What about ships? What can, we, what can we buy here? So we have this green irradiated stuff. So not great. Nothing good for it there. But, you know, you gotta take what you can get, I suppose. But what about the black market? Ventures are not freighters, by the way. The Gemini is decent at what it does, but... It is very multi-purpose, which for our purposes works out. Okay, so over here we can get another hound. They have, you know, at least decent, halfway decent cargo capacity. So we'd be able to get more supplies. Over here, the mule, they have an omni shield. And, a, you know, decent armor for their size, I suppose. Okay, they have that boost where they can charge in. They also have one medium universal, so that's really good for us. Alright, so... Right now, we can't afford a mule. We can afford a wayfarer. So, let's buy another wayfarer. Nah, let's buy another helm. Let's just buy a bunch of really crappy ships in the beginning. Because we can't afford really any, well how much what is the carrying capacity of a way of a wayfarer decent it can hold 50 people and let's see maximum cargo of 100 versus 75. okay just out of curiosity what is the what does the hound use to travel in space? So, 
fuel is the so would be one effectively and over here for the wayfarer that would be like one okay so the wayfarer is better for it but we're going to want lots of meals i think even though they're really bad so <laughs> let's go ahead and buy another another hound what can get on the open market um, i don't think this is the weaponized version of that right no yeah none of these are the weaponized versions we can buy a mud skipper it's it's max it's max burns nine here it's one so we put safety overrides on it and speed it up and then we would just zoom over there. Let's buy a mud skipper. Oh, here's a buffalo that degraded engine, so it's oh man, that's really nasty. But it's next and bird isn't too bad. It has no defense, its armor rating is alright. And it has lots of weapon stats. Well, I mean that's that's decent, I suppose. But I want something that's less screwed up, I think. And probably from the left market. Okay, so we have more carrying capacity. So that means we go to the black market, we max more out on that, we max more out on this, and we have and we hire more marines. And so then we're gonna make our way back to Calcedon after putting weapons on this. So if we put a heavy mauler on there, it will have long range, so that's good. Let's see. Yeah, I mean we can give it a shot. I don't know how well I don't know how well it's going to do. How much does a heavy mauler use to fire? 150. So we want at least up to a hundred. So I can just fire all the time. I'm gonna go up to maxing that out and putting that improvised shield on there. And then because we have a... <laughs> okay then. Let's go ahead and put that machine gun on here. The light machine gun with three... Where is it? Light machine gun... Okay. So it has at least a little point of defense to use. Is it improvised shield? Oh, how much does this use? 180? Yeah, this probably isn't worth it. So, let's see what we can do here for this. So, on this one, we can also do a heavy mauler. We might as well just make their builds identical. Why not? I have no idea how well this is going to work. This might be a terrible idea. It might work hilariously well. So, let's repair our ships. Let's realize that we don't have enough crew and promptly say dang it and see if we can buy anything for cheap does not look like it so that means we have to sell back some of our marine friends on the black market and get five crew okay so now we have just enough repair our ships go back Get more supplies, which we can't afford. Did we lose supplies? No, we we didn't. Okay then. We are good to go. So let's make our way to Calcedon again. And see what we can do there. Looks like the independents are chasing down the terrorists again, I approve. Of course, we are going to probably be little terrorists ourselves, so... Go dark and let's let's 
run and try to make our way over to Calcedon because we have run these turrets. Of course, they almost caught us. So, let's sneak in and sell off our marines. Sell off most, but not all, of our supplies. We're going to want like 20, I think. Okay, and then that. Now, what can we buy here? We can buy crew for cheap and sell it for expensive um, at, you know, in, in Sindria, actually. And so for things, what can we buy from here that other people will want to buy? Sindria wants this, so we're going to buy lots of that. Okay, and fuel, well, I would like to sell them fuel, but unfortunately we need it. So, what can we buy? We can buy a new, we can buy a mule. It, it, it's it's like new. It was just only freshly blown up. And over here, this mule seems to be doing all right. It's not amazing. I'm going to hold off on that for now and make our way over to Sindria. Okay, our cargo is currently full, so sorry lady. Okay, let's sneak out of here. Okay, well we just did that some sense of earth. It's time to run. Now let's make our way to the jump point. We're going to go to Volterion or whatever it's called. Voltron. Volturn. And let's make our way there. Now we need to go dark so we don't get caught by this patrol that's protecting the point here. And uh, let's let's sneak out of way past the Adelphiensis. Nine. Okay, well, uh, I guess we'll say hello. And, oh, he wants a tithe? Sure, there you go. Um, you bastard. Well, I mean, they'll probably leave us alone at this point. We did agree to pay their stupid tithe. But you're too weak to fight them, and, they want, and all they want is money. Then, well, money's kind of cheap. Until you can murderize them and then kill them all. So let's go ahead, sell off crew for expensive, and we will see what we can get here. So we need to keep about 45 crew. So we're going to sell that. Now, Sindria wants that. And I suppose we can buy these for cheap at Nova Maxios, but what are they here? 103? It's not going to be worth it for us. Okay, so what kind of ships do they have? And also they have this, which sells nicely at other places. So we could, after we sell a bunch of stuff at Sindria, come back and buy the rest. Deck, nothing we want. What do they sell? So there's a Gemini there. Gemini are nice. Remember the the rule is the only order I'm allowed to give at the beginning of combat is full assault. <laughs> so ships that complement that are going to be better than ships that don't. So this mule is all right. I mean it seems as though it isn't having major problems right now. Okay, so I, I recall that mules are supposed to be kind of bad. But, hey, you know, in terms of what you can do, I suppose it isn't that, I suppose it isn't too terrible. I haven't used them before, so I guess I'll get one and make it my flagship. Yeah, I guess. Okay, so let's, let's look to refit the thing, and I guess I'll transfer myself over there.
the three the three ants. And what weapons can we put on this right now? We could stick a hyper velocity driver on there. We could stick missiles, Pila. Dual flat cannon, that is gonna be good. That, is, that will not be good for us. So this is great against armor. What I think we're gonna do is probably these will be a sabot and then a um, yeah we'll do a sabot over here and a harpoon over there over here yeah and so yeah this this seems all right I suppose um, it has an omni shield so that's good at least but it seems as though really we're going to want to so these will need to be light machine guns. There's ten available, so let's go ahead and put those on there. Alternatively, I can make these like rail guns and try to go with the ship being long range. That could work quite well. Yeah. So okay. So with that in mind, if, if we were to look at these, light mortars have a range of 600. I think there's something that here that has a range of like 800 or something. But let's outfit it as best we can. Let's put the heavy mauler on it because that's good against armor. And there are enemies in the game that don't have any armor. And hope that we don't get stuck in fights uh, for the time being. So, yeah, I think that's a, that's about all we can do at the moment. So, we're going to try and max these out, and there isn't a whole lot for us to do right now, because we don't have access to weapon groups that we want. So, we're going to make our way to Sindria now. Oh, yeah, we need to buy people. So, in terms of this, people are expensive here, which is unfortunate. So, we need to get at least 85 people. So let's do that. Not the, not the best. So let's make our way down to Sindria. How many supplies do we use a day? Uh, a decent amount. Yeah, I know. So let's go to Sandria. And let's see what we can buy. Okay, so first off, we're going to sell all this for a decent profit. Then we're going to buy a bunch of supplies, but also we're going to look at our options here. Okay, well, first things first. Let's let's look at what we can do. Okay, let's sell that. Let's go over here and see what we can do. So this is a universal mount. I do like phase lances. They are very good at what they do. They just seem to cost a metric ton. But I'm gonna go with that actually. So we'll put that heavy we'll put that mauler on something else. And over here. I think it's like rail guns I'm thinking of that are really, really good. But until we get rail guns, we're going to need something to take down the enemy shield so our phase lance can be good. So, light dual auto cannons, yeah. And for missiles, let's go with. Since we don't have any harpoons, let's go with sabots. Okay. So, those will, that will do the job, that will do the trick for now. Hmm. 
Okay, well, I suppose that's all we can do. We can expand the cargo holds. This is another civilian grade. Okay, so we'll buy 30%, whichever is higher. How much does that cost? 10? So you would need to lose one. Okay, let's do it. Right, so I think we have about all we about all we need right now. So the machine guns, so group three or is the two auto cannons. They're set to auto fire. So flex the spacious 340. Cool. We're going to fire the phase lance intentionally then. And the sub outs and everything else. Okay. Got it. So suppose we'll put our other officer over here on this. What I learned is that the ships that are in the back tend to be in the front, so we'll try to do that. Can't put anybody else here because we don't have anybody else. And over here, this thing, I think we were thinking two salamanders might do the trick back here. I don't know if they have another salamander for us to buy, though. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Okay, let's do uh, heavy muller and a heavy muller. Okay, so we have lots of heavy mullers. <laughs> so let's go and do, do they actually have a hound that we can buy? Just this piece of crap. They do. Okay, let's just buy this piece of crap hound. Let's slap that heavy muller we have on it. And okay, let's go over here. Let's take this. Let's make this um, that. And now let's take you, auto fit you to that. Okay. So we, we learned how to do that quickly at least. So let's go back over here. We are going to need some crew. And we need 95 crew. So we are good there. We are going to want lots of supplies. We can't buy an, as much supplies as we would like, though. So, let's get as many supplies as we can. And then let's make our way back over to Calcedon, where we can sell a bunch of supplies and hopefully make a bunch of money. Okay, pair of ships. We're going to make our way back to Calcedon and make money. So we'll load the scan because we now have scan we now have shielded cargo holds. And we're probably going to eventually phase out those hounds for more mules. And everything else that is a shielded cargo hold. I don't know how uh, how big we are in terms of in terms of what we can take on at the moment. Let's see, they are going to be a little bit scary, so we're going to try and avoid that. We do, we are, we are trying to go to Calcedon, so let's do that. Let's keep that transponder off. The Freighter Prince cannot uh, survive a combat right now. Let's see those guys to really get a to really get an idea of what their fleets are. Yeah, we could win against that one. What about you? You we don't know. So maybe, but maybe not. Okay, so we're using effectively one a day. And so we're going to want to be able, if we go with having 13 left, that should be good for us. Now we didn't buy any Marines because we just didn't have any money. And we are running dangerously low on, on fuel. It's okay though, we can make our way to Sindria where we can get fuel for not the cheapest, but cheaper than we would otherwise. Over here on the black market, there's all kinds of options. So, let's try to get out of here. So they seem to be annoyed, uh, just ignoring us. 
which I'm fine with. I prefer not to have to fight them. If I can avoid it. There's probably nothing here. Yeah. And so we just got a little bit more money. We don't want to fight them. But if we have to, then we will. So, we, we, they have two hounds, they have a mule, and they have an actual warship. Well, nah, I, I'm good. I'm going to try and fight them, just to see what happens. We, we might all die, but remember our one command we can get. But at least we will die knowing we gave it our own. Okay, let's try to target him because I know he doesn't have shields. Or because he's very fast, I can attempt to go and help target him. Because I know I can kill him quickly and the other two ships are very fast so they will likely be able to just dance around those other ones. Looks like he'll likely be able to dance around me without any problems. Then again, maybe he gets disabled. <laughs> Fires that warhead and uh, doesn't really get anywhere. You fool. Closer. Closer. Excellent. We seem to have done some damage to his back, but not a whole lot. this could be the problem with going with the phase lines. Yeah, that's right, I can turn on uh, my extra jets to speed up. I'd like if he would uh, stop going down there. Right, come on, come on. Alright, cool, oh, we got it. So let's go ahead and take down this mule over here and see what we can do. Alright, so he is, our other, our hounds are starting to lose combat effectiveness because they are low on combat against because they're overdriven. those missiles that I am not using right now. No. 
I reloaded myself. Um, alright. Well. He does seem to be uh, dying very quickly. And we don't have any more weapons. Alright, is that all of them? Are they all dead? No, there's one left. Looks like the other hounds were taken out. So let's go here and kill this last hound so we can get out of here. Alright. <laughs> Seems to be doing alright. Um, now this enemy hound seems to be having issues. Is he just like... Oh, he got hit by a salamander. I understand. I get it now. Have no more spots. Okay. Looks good. Alright, so the last of the enemy, he decided to run. We could pursue them, but we're not going to. We'll harry the retreat where we cover some ships. All three of these are freighters. So, we, the freighter prince, will take more freighters. Of course, now we probably don't have the fuel we need to, well, not the fuel, but the supplies we need to actually make our way back to uh, Sindria. So and we, probably, we probably don't have the fleet either. So we're going to mothball some of these. Okay, and how about everything else? Everything else seems fine. So, okay. Let's make our way back to Sindria. We don't really have a lot of fuel. And we're gonna be out of supplies soon. Oh my goodness, we use so much fuel. <laughs> Holy crap, we use so much fuel. Well, time to drift our way to Esconia then. <laughs> We have no fuel, we have no supplies. Let's turn on that transponder and let's make our way to Scorpion. To Sindria. Right. To Sindria we go. Uh, no. To Sindria. Not to their detachment. Their detachment we sort of just look at and say hi and uh, very slowly like walk away from, well, terrified. Right, so we need fuel and we need other stuff. So what's your story? You use, how much fuel do you use? You use more fuel than you need. Over here, you use more fuel than you need. Well, the hounds have been good. I'm going to prioritize keeping these. So I'm going to strip these hounds. And I'm also going to strip this. I'm going to reassign you over here. I know this is probably a terrible idea, but you know, we're trying to consolidate. So damage control, gunnery. And, okay, so this has been stripped. How much do they sell for? So first off, how much are supplies here on the black market? 93. Cool. So about 100. We'll, we'll just round up. So if we go to fleet and we say, okay, well, you will sell for 210 and you will scuttle for 3. So you already scuttled for more than you'd be getting out of you. So by you, you sell for 523, so we will sell that one. This scuttles for more, and this scuttles for more. Cool. So let's unmothball this. We are under crew strength again. Let's... Wait, what the? You should be here. So let's get crew strength on the black market. So we're going to need... 100 crew to run both these. 
we want to just buy the rest in Marines. We're going to hold off on that until we know if we're not getting anything else. Let's take this and let's make it well, let's see. Do they have anything else for us over here? Armor weapon mounts and the other thing. Slated assembly. So not, nothing there too much. Okay. So. Right. Let's go back to refitting. Let's take the view and make you a version. Let's take this and try to match that. Don't have a phase lance, but they do have this, which does anti shield. These are both anti shield, too, so we don't want that. So, what else do they have? Light mortars, nothing that's great. So, what do you have over here? You have heavy molars, which we'll have to use because that is anti armor and everything else is anti shield. So, wait, what? Oh, okay. Cool. So this is instead going to be a heavy muller, and we're going to prioritize maximum capacitors over flux vents for now. So the heavy muller, we want to be fired manually so they can fire it when, they, when, it, would, when it would be best to fire it. Okay, so now let's go, let's look at the fleet that we can, let's go and look at what we can buy, and, oh, ooh, ah, I like this. This will be my capital ship at some point. Ah, the Atlas. That or the improvised uh, Prometheus. One of the two. Okay, so we could buy another mule, but if we're not going to, that would be, that would be kind of silly. How many people do we need? We have all the people we need. Let's go ahead and sell everything else. Except they have heavy mullers. I guess we'll keep those. All oh, right, terrace. Okay, so we've sold all those. We want to buy all the supplies we can. We want to buy enough fuel to make it to Machitaka. Well, you know what? Going out of our way like that will just make it harder for us to make more money. The closer we stay to Kelsedon, the better. So instead, let's buy a bunch of fuel. What is the next cheapest place to buy supplies around here? Coulon? Probably won't be worth it. What about Marines? We can get them cheap at Nachiteka as well. But again, yeah, I mean, it'll probably be worth it. I mean, it won't be because we already bought a bunch of Marines. But, okay. We are going to get fewer Marines than we originally intended. And there we go. We have everything that we can afford right now. Unless we sell the Maulers. So, alright guys. What our, what our game plan is now is we're going to go sell to sell more supplies to Calcedon, try to expand our roster of, of officers and and uh, mules, and we will just expand everything as much as we can from there. All right, guys. So my name has been Finn Mortar. Has been Finmer. This is the Freitha Prince, and give me a comment below. So if you think this is a good idea, a bad idea, whatever you want to talk about, a like, a subscribe, uh, bring that bell if you subscribe, share the video, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.